All right, I've just shut off the heater about, oh, 20 minutes ago or so, just to let it cool off. As you can see, I've taken the flue stack off, and it's lying on the ground, letting that cool off a little bit more before I separate the joints. But now that I've got the immersion heater out of the oil and into its storage tank, you can kind of see how this uh, immersion heater is set up. So air is sucked in through this flue right here. Of course, our fuel tank used to be right here. And the air is sucked through here, and fuel is dripped on the plate. And then this combustion, the combustion occurs inside this donut, and then the exhaust gases are sucked out, sucked out the flue stack. So it's pretty a simple system. It doesn't require any electricity. And uh, since I'm using off-spec biodiesel, that I wouldn't want to run in my Power Stroke Ford. Uh, I'm basically running it for free. So it's a win-win situation all the way around. Uh, I don't have to run my heating element in my biodiesel reactor any more than I have to. Uh, to de I don't have to dewater oil anymore in the reactor. And I get rid of off-spec biodiesel that I wouldn't otherwise be able to use. So, like I said, it's a win-win situation. And I hope that these series of videos, uh, short videos that I've strung together, I have proved instructive. So that is all. Thank you.